Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Yeah, the little Abby's here to help out. Um, yeah, they're actually bugging me to go for a W-A-L-K actually. So anyway, um, yeah, I went over to uh, Port Huron across the border there again yesterday to pick Jules up from uh, a visit with his boyfriend. And I went to Walmart, Alta, and TJ Maxx. And um, you know, babies, you need a haircut. And uh, yeah, I got some uh, fall goodies. And now I bought some cushions for the couch and I bought these actually in HomeSense here in Canada. And I have a little bit of a uh, problem uh, with mushrooms. I can't resist anything with mushrooms on it. So I bought these, a couple of these uh, cushions, Abby, um, these beautiful mushrooms on it and uh, yeah they look so pretty <laughs> okay this is usually her spot um, and I'm, I'm taking up her spot here there we go are you okay now alrighty and um, so I will begin with maybe TJ Maxx and of course I like to collect these uh, particular bags they're like 99 cents they're like I think a dollar fifty in Canada but I use these a lot for shopping and groceries and that, so I'm not always bringing home plastic bags and that. And they had this beautiful fall design with the fox and the rabbit and the squirrel and the owl, the hedgehog. It's so, so cute. Um, so yeah, got a couple of those. And then I uh, didn't buy a lot at TJ Maxx. A lot of their products I can find here in Canada. Uh, but they did have this hand soap. And it's by um, Homeworks, uh, which is the um, uh, the Slack and, and company. So the the person who uh, had the company, the Slack and company, used to design and well, I guess. Oh, sorry. Oh. There was some someone coming at the door. Uh, anyway, uh, the person um, who uh, designed the Slack and uh, the Homeworks candles he used to design the Bath and Body Works many, many years ago. And then he uh, started his um, company, Homeworks Candles. Now, I've never tried Homeworks Candles. Uh, they were expensive and the shipping was quite a bit uh, to Canada. And uh, yeah, heard kind of mixed reviews about them. But I did find some ham hand soaps by uh, the Homework Slack and, and Company. And uh, I really, really like the uh, design on them. They're kind of a wraparound label. So these were $4.99 and uh, they have 22 fluid ounces or 650 mils. So you get quite a bit of product. And this first one is Autumn Pinecone. And this is Fallen Pine Cones, Red Oak, Fresh Eucalyptus, and Juniper Berry. And I actually, that, they didn't, they don't mention um, apples in the description, but I'm picking up some apple. There's apples and berries and, um, yeah, it's actually a, a somewhat bright kind of a scent. But that label is just absolutely beautiful. And the other Homeworks hand soap was Palo Santo Pumpkin. I do love the Palo Santo scent as a type of wood. Again, a beautiful wraparound label. And this is Palo Santo Pumpkin Puree Cinnamon Stick in suede Wood. Oh, this is so good. This reminds me of Pumpkin Bonfire by Bath and Body Works. Oh, it's such a good scent. Um, if there was two, two of these on the shelf, I would have got two of them, but there's just the one. But oh my gosh, that one ah, just smells beautiful. Just fall in a hand soap. And then the other product I got at TJ Maxx uh, was Dr. Teal's um, Body Scrub. Now, I know you can get this in Myers and Walmart. Um, this was $4.99 also for 19 ounces or 538 grams. And this is the pomegranate and black currant. 
Uh, this has shea butter, orange oil, and avocado oil. And this really did smell. Oh, I put it on quite tight. I didn't want it leaking. Oh, yeah. Kind of got uh, laying on its side at some point. Oopsie. Anyway. Oh, yeah, it's very, very sweet kind of uh, fruit scent. If I can get it back on. Yeah, I haven't tried the Dr. Teal's body scrubs. All right, that's, so that's it for TJ Maxx. Oh, no, one more thing. I did buy this All Made Blush, Healthy Hue Blush. So I have tried this in the past, and it was kind of a nude scent, a scent, a nude color. And uh, I really, really enjoyed the formula, and it's very underrated, this All Made Blush. And I did get it in the Wild Berry color. So it's just really, really pretty. This will look very nice in the fall. Um, yeah, very uh, kind of a reddish, rosy color. All right, so that's it for TJ Maxx. And then, um, well, we'll do, we'll do Walmart next. And yeah, this is another bag that I got a year or two ago in winters and that another plastic bag just a smaller type but yeah I just fold them up put them in my purse and I don't have to bring all home with this plastic so uh, in Walmart I did get the gold bond age renew retinol overnight body and face lotion so this has retinol and peptides in it uh, so retinol is anti-aging it helps uh, uh, smooth the skin texture. It helps get rid of um, age spots. It helps uh, reduce fine lines. Um, I do use the prescription strength retinol that I picked up over the counter in Mexico because you can buy anything over the counter in Mexico. And yeah, it's made the biggest difference to my skin. And this has peptides in it also, which helps uh, firm up the skin. So I heard, I think it was Dr. Dre, he, she's a dermatologist on YouTube, really does recommend this one. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give that a try because my skin, you know, as it gets older, it gets a little bit thinner, it gets a little bit creepy. Sometimes I get those little bumps behind my arms and that, um, especially in the winter when it gets quite dry. So uh, I thought I would give this one a try. So I've heard good things about it. And... Uh, also, I did get the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer, so I've heard very good things about this. Um, they, a lot of people compare this to NARS Concealer, and I did get the second lightest shade. Um, now, it looks kind of pinky in the container, but uh, when I put it on this morning, it did come off a little bit peachy. I prefer kind of a pinky tone, but the lightest one was just quite light. So, um, But so far, I did like how it looked. It didn't settle into my fine lines. It didn't look um, dry or anything. So um, I'll see how that wears. And then this is um, from Relove, which is uh, sort of a more inexpensive version of Revolution uh, Beauty. And I've heard very good things about their dual blush and uh, highlighter. And this was like $3, I think it was $2.98, which is a very good price. And uh, it's a very pigmented blush. It's really, really pretty. And this is in the color Cute. And this is the highlighter. So it's a little bit of a gold, just a light gold tone. I wish they had more like a champagne silvery color with that uh, blush but anyway um the pigment's really good so we'll see how it uh, does Alrighty. okay i should have maybe set these over um i did get three of these find the third one. Oh, okay. So last time I went down, I couldn't find woodland pine cones and it's still not in that Walmart. Um, and leaves and acorn I couldn't find, but I found the leaves and acorn this time. So I saw the, the little slot where the leaves and acorn 
is supposed to go and I thought, oh my God, it's sold out. I couldn't see any. And then I kind of bent down because it wasn't at eye level and I reached back and there was like three of them sitting back, way, way back. Um, so, whew, thank goodness. So I got three of the leaves and acorns. And this is apple, allspice, and wood scent nose. And this is really good. Okay. Okay, Lou, the cockatiel, is obsessed by feet. Um, he's singing to my foot. I don't... He just has this obsession with feet. If you're sitting or laying down, he will sing to your feet. So, anyway. I'm going to cover up my feet. There we go, he stopped. Yeah, he's, he's, he has a foot fetish, this cockatiel. It's bizarre, but anyway. So yeah, I really, really like this scent. It does remind me of the uh, roasted chestnuts and acorn, the one that I got last year online. Um, I sniffed them side by side. They're different, but they're in the same vein. They they're, have the similar kind of vibe to it. Oh yeah, this is so nice. Yeah, I definitely pick up that nutty acorn scent. It's very, it's earthy. Now it says allspice. I mean, there's a there's a hint of like nutmeg, cinnamon, but it's very earthy. It's not in your face. Um, it's kind of a deep, rich scent. But yeah, I really am happy uh, to have picked that one up. And then I did get more of the kitchen herb. Oh, I guess I got just two of them. Um, but yeah, I think I got four last time. I just, I really, really enjoy this scent. It's just clean and fresh and it's beautiful year round. Oh yeah, I really, really like it. It's a greenery scent. It's slightly, it is herbal, but not overly in your face, choking you out kind of herbal. Oh, and I was, I was at the self-checkout, and this lady came and said, oh, do you want this free little lens cleaner for your glasses? So, yeah. I said, sure, I'll take it. Um, and then Ocean Flannel, and I sniffed this the last time I was there, and I thought, oh, it's a bit cloney. And then I sniffed it again, and I thought, well, gee, I, I don't know. My nose has changed because it doesn't smell as cloney. So this is sea salt, sea mist, and driftwood scent notes. But yeah, it just, it doesn't smell as sharp this time. It's a little bit softer. But yeah, it just, it smells very relaxing now. It smells softer for some reason. But yeah, it does have that kind of ocean air kind of scent to it, but it's not overly bright. It's very, it's soft. Mm, yeah, I do like it. Um, so I don't know what happened in the interim there, but anyway. Um, oh, I did get two more of the pine and sweet mint. Yeah, I think I picked up three or four last time. I just love this one. It's just, oh, the, just a beautiful blend of the pine and, and mint. I think the mint's a little bit stronger than the pine, but oh my gosh, it's so good. And then I did get another iced caramel macchiato, and this is in the mainstays, which was $1.10. And actually, last time I went, the wax melts were $2.22. And this time, a lot of them mark were marked down to $1.97. So a lot of these I got for $1.97, or most of them. Anyway, this, these are $1.10, and this is a really, really good... Um, coffee scent. It does smell like caramel coffee. And then someone suggested uh, the creamy cashmere in the mainstays line. Uh, they said it was actually quite strong and I do like those uh, soothing type of cashmere scents. Yeah, and this is very pretty. Not overly strong on cold, but I was told that when it was melting it was quite strong. Well, this one's stronger for some reason. I have allergies too. Like, uh, yeah, this time of year my allergies are acting up, so my, my uh, schnozola here is maybe not working that well. Okay, sorry, my battery is exhausted. I um, guess I should have checked that first. Alrighty, and then um, 
Oops, Better Homes and Gardens Blueberry Tart. I do like blueberry scents. Um, the deep, rich ones I really like. Like blackberry, blueberry for the fall. Oh, this is good. Yeah, I actually get a little bit of that dough from the tart and yeah, it's a very deep, rich uh, blueberry. And then I did pick up another wild lavender and linen. Um, yeah, I got a few of them last time. It's just such a pretty la uh, lavender laundry type of scent. Okay, so that was it for Walmart. And then I hopped over to Ulta. And I really wanted to get these new scents from uh, Tree Hut. And I know they're... Uh, I didn't really want to buy them in Ulta because they're more expensive, but I couldn't find them in Walmart or, um, uh, what was the other store I went into? I, I know last time I went to Target and I couldn't find them. And I couldn't find any of those new Dove fall scents. They're online. Like the Walmart US site, they do have them online, but I couldn't find them in the store. So anyway, I did get the Tree Hut in the Pumpkin Pop. And, oh, there it goes by. Now, oh. who is that? I don't recognize the numbers. Uh, they can leave a message. Anyway, um, this is pumpkin seed oil, apple cider vinegar, and shea butter. And they fill these to the top. No, it's actually quite light. Yeah, it's it's a very light pumpkin scent. Um, the apple cider. I get a yeah, I get a little bit. Get a hint of the apple in there, but I don't know. My nose is just not cooperating lately. But yes, it smells stronger in the in the store. Not overly strong, but so my nose is just acting weird. And then I did get two of these Cherry Rave because I do love cherry scents. I love the color. I just love that purple color. And this is um, Dark Cherry Yuzu and Shea Butter. And Yuzu is a type of citrus. So this is not... It, it does smell like that really dark cherry, but it's not overly strong. It's not like a really bright, bright cherry scent. Yeah, it does have, it's like that uh, really deep uh, cherry scent. Um, what am I trying to say? I do get a little bit of the citrus, but yeah, it's not a bright cherry scent. It's that deep, dark, rich kind of cherry scent, but it's not overly strong. It uh, won't knock your socks off or anything. And then I did want to try, now I usually, I don't wear foundation, just maybe on special occasions. I do like the tinted, uh, the tinted sunscreens or like the, the uh, moisturizers that just are called like skin tints and they just leave a light coverage. Um, but I've heard very good things about this particular one. And this is by Revolution Beauty. And this is the Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation. And yeah, whenever I buy any foundation or um, like concealer from Revolution, I always use F4 or the number four because it's a rosy type of undertone, which works best for me. So yeah, I've heard very good things about this. Now, this one has 23 mils. Most foundations have 30, but I mean, I don't use these enough to, um, you know, run out too soon. But yes, i uh very happy to get my hands on that. And then I did get three of these NYX uh, blushes, which are uh, quite viral, as they say now. I did pick up a bronzer last time. Um, uh, which is, is very nice. So, uh, the colors I did get, I did want to get like a coral one. And this is You Know Butter, which is a shimmering coral. 
if I can get it open. Oh, darn. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just give me a, oh, there we go. Give me a minute. Uh, so yeah, this one's a shimmery. I know some of them are matte, some are shimmery. And this kind of reminds me of Luminoso by Milani because it's got that coral. And then there's a bit of a, a little bit of just gold in there. Um, but it's, it's not, well, maybe I'll put it here. But you, you can't really notice it too much. Uh, so it's not, I mean, it's not overly shimmery, but it's, it's kind of like a highlight built into a blush. And then I did want to get like a rosy, mauvey color. Oh my gosh. There we go. This one is called For the Butter, which is soft mauve. Someone said these had a scent. But again, I don't know. I'm kind of congested. Maybe like a vanilla scent? I don't know. Anyway, this is for the butter, which is soft mauve. So it's, they're very pigmented. I guess you need a very light touch with these. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're supposed to be very nicely blendable. But yes, you need a light touch. And then this one is Shimmering Terracotta, which is Feeling Butter. Oops, I should have opened these before, I guess. Ah, there we go. So this one I thought would probably be a little bit dark, but I can just use a very light touch. But I did want kind of a bronzy one for the summer. So yeah, this one's uh, kind of a bronzy type of color. Maybe a little bit of orange in there. Um, but yeah, they're, they're very blendable and they're very soft. And, um, and then I did get this LA Girl Foreplay um, palette. I think this was like $5 or something like that. And this is in the color Feel Good. And this one is um, sort of a mauve kind of color. So they have two mattes, and then this one, oh, oh, I'm too hot. Okay, can I get interrupted anymore today? Anyway, um, I'm almost done. Um, this one shimmer is more like a, a topper. It just, not the happiest with that particular one. Um, but anyway, um, I've heard good things about it. If I give it a try, oh, there we go. Okay. I get interrupted one more time. That was UPS, but it was nothing for me, so I'm not excited. Oh shoot! Now I'm knocking everything over. Okay. All right. I'm almost done. Um. This is it. So I did get these e.l.f. monochromatic multi-sticks. So you're supposed to be able to use this on your face as blush, um, also to your eyes, your lips. And I've heard very good things about this particular color, Glimmering Guava. Oh, I better hurry up before the phone rings again or someone comes to the door again. And Anyway, um, But they're very, very pigmented. Um, I would just probably use it as a blush. Well, I guess you could use it on your eyes for just a one and done kind of look. But that's uh, Glimmering Guava, which is, this has like tiny, tiny little gold speckles in there, but they're, they're not overly chunky. They're pretty, pretty mild. And then I did get, um, where'd the other one go? Oh, I did get Sparkling Rose and Dazzling Peony. Um, but yeah, they, they're actually quite quite nice. They're very pigmented and they have very pretty colors. So anyway, that's it. I'm going I'm to just call it quits here. Um,
because I'm sure I'll get interrupted again. And the puppies are staring at me right now. They're like, get off the camera. We want to go for a W-A-L-K. So uh, that's my border, cro my border crossing haul. And uh, so, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. And um, yeah, oh, it's another, another hot one. Just waiting for fall to arrive. Come on, fall. Mother Nature, hello, where are you? Um, so everyone take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.